Good morning, my lovely friends, strangers, acquaintances, humans just trying to get through this thing we call life. Clearly, I have just rolled out of bed. Well, I wouldn't call it just. I have been up for an hour, maybe. Um, but I've got my lovely Saga Tech shirt on. No salt, no sharks. No worries. Saga Tech, Michigan. Because it is freezing in here and matching <laughs> inside out pajama pants. Uh, but I've got other things going on that, uh, require me to, uh, divide my attentions, uh, and be on top of things rather quickly this morning. Uh, so, uh, appearance isn't everything, just so you know. So, uh, makeup free straight out of bed in mismatched pajamas. It's okay to be human. Uh, you do want to be aware how you come across in different contexts. I mean, I wouldn't suggest showing up to a job interview dressed like this. And some people would uh, freak to put themselves out on the web in this uh, state. Uh, but I'm all about uh, body acceptance, self-love, self-acceptance. Um, it's a big part of what uh, helped me to recover from an eating disorder that I had for many, many, many years, too many years. Plus, I am experiencing severe symptoms of my uh, physical illnesses this morning. And I wanted to treat myself. <laughs> so, uh, Sometimes treating yourself is staying comfortable. Anyway, it's two minutes in and I'm rambling again. Uh, I'm not awake in the brain and I'm trying to be productive uh, for something critical right now. And I'm, I'm not awake in the brain. So, quote of the day. Maybe this will help me focus. <laughs> Every man, woman, he, she, they, them, and any other acronyms I'm not familiar with, every homo sapien is more or less his own magician. Now the level to which you are aware that you are your own magician varies person to person, culture to culture, experience, exposure, wisdom, meaning, and your own um, set of characteristics and capacities. Um, some people, not even their own magician, they're not even aware they have any agency in life. Um, I will link below to uh, Living with Bipolar, Why I Live Consciously. I will link below to Waking Up, Why I Live Mindfully and Consciously. Um, the fact that you have agency. Even though we are conscious beings, to our knowledge at least, we are the only species on the planet that is aware of its own consciousness. So um, elephants have funerals and come back to visit the dead. So we may be underestimating. We may have a little bit of an ego there. Um, but to our scientific provable knowledge, we're the only one that is self-aware and self-aware of our own mortality. Hence um, the importance of life and the importance of love and the importance of other people and the importance of so many things is because everything is time limited and we are self-aware.
But who's to say Coral is not self-aware? Um, they just can't express it in ways that we can understand it because they're Coral. Human beings have a bias. Not only do we have our own individual capacities that set us apart, our own perspective, the family that we were born into, the society, the nation, the culture, the religion, our own personal experiences, the meaning and narrative we have applied to those personal experiences, et cetera, et cetera, that is going to uh, foster a certain interpretation of reality. We don't even have the capacity to see all of reality. A cat can see more of reality than we can. Uh, they have night vision. <laughs> Turtles uh, can feel magnetic waves and direct themselves to the ocean through magnetic fields. There's a lot more going on here than we even have the uh, capacity to perceive. But I'm getting way off track. Let's just talk about agency and choices. At some point, when you're a child, you look into the mirror and you wave or you make a silly face. And eventually something clicks and you realize that reflection is you. That you are a being and you have the capacity to to act to do things to make choices thoughts and then create behaviors you start knocking your sippy cup off the table it creates a big splashy mess which is fun to hear I'm sure that's enjoyable for a toddler senses um, and that they can move objects um, they can create action and impact their surroundings. And then mommy or daddy begin to come in and pick it up <laughs> repeatedly. And it becomes this really entertaining game um, for a variety of reasons. Um, not just to drive you crazy. Um, the child is beginning to realize that not only do they have capacity to act in the world, to make choices, thoughts, ideas become real action that has real outcomes, but that their outcomes impact other people's responses. That they can, they, they have agency in their world. They can create impact on, on other things and how things play out. And as they grow more and more, they have more and more of these experiences of agency and somewhere along the way of becoming an adult, we lose something we learned when we were three, approximately, depending on what we've endured. And depending on how long we've been caught in various circumstances, that we have agency. We can create. We don't have control over our automatic thoughts and feelings. We can choose our reactions and our actions in this life. We can choose our responses. We can choose our goals, our daily habits and behaviors. We can choose what to prioritize, what to put our time and attention into. That is going to have a great impact, which you, you value your value and belief system, your mindset and what you prioritize, which is what you spend the most time and energy on. It's going to greatly impact your life in the end. If you value your family, if you value your work, if you value the process, if you value effort, if you value independence, uh, if you value contribution, uh, your belief system, which, you're, which you value, it, is what you invest in. And that is going to uh, be your guiding compass and, in life. Um, you didn't do 
and are not responsible for the things that are outside of our hands. There's a thing in Stoicism called the Trichotomy of Control. I'll link to that one too. I've linked to it in several videos because it's very relevant for emotional control um, and de-stressing. Uh, it goes along the principle of God grant me the serenity to accept things I cannot change, courage to change things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Uh, there are three things in life. Things you have no control over, things you have some control over, and things you have total control over. Control the things you can control. Do what you can for the things that you um, have some control over. Accept life on life's terms for the things that you cannot. And choose your reactions like a pick a path book. And we also can't control outcomes. Life is unfair, life is un not guaranteed. Um, the best decisions, the best efforts aren't always rewarded and bad things happen to good people. Uh, but there are different mindset tools you can use. The meaning you assign to traumatic and troubling things that are outside of your control. Um, that everything happens for a reason. I know you probably hate to hear that. Um, looking at the long view and the long run, this is, this is for a better um, purpose this is going to serve me later um, and the story you tell yourself about your past those things that were traumatizing to happen to you when you were uh, young uh, that you interpreted through the underdeveloped mind of a small child that couldn't comprehend situations that were larger than themselves and you clung on to that meaning and that self-definition uh, uh, into your 30s, 40s, 50s of, of uh, worthlessness, being unlovable, um, being uh, dirty or tainted somehow, or being responsible uh, for things we're not responsible for. I will link below to tell yourself a new narrative um, through the eyes of an adult that uh, it would have happened to anybody. It wasn't your fault. You were a child. You just happened to be there. Put that same, put a kid, any kid in that same family with that same perpetrator, with that same person, and the same things would happen. You can uh, heal yourself. You can stabilize yourself. You can pick your friends and your influences. You can talk to yourself better. You can choose what you focus on, what you think about, what you prioritize. You can choose what you fill your time with, at least some of your time. You can choose lesser animals to spend their time trying to survive. Going from grassy patch to grassy patch to water. Uh, they just try to live. Unfortunately, we've become so high up in our uh, consciousness that we uh, have lost track of some of our innate uh, instincts like appetite, um, the body-mind connection, um, how to properly care for our body, how much to move in a day, uh, awareness. We're completely disconnected from our instincts being aware that you need to reconnect some of your instincts like breath and your circadian rhythm, sleep, um, it will be helpful. Basically the point of this quote is that nothing on this planet existed that God or the universe, whatever you believe in, didn't make, that humans didn't make. They thought of a thing, wrote it out, drew it out, figured it out, and made it. And depending on your level of, um, in life, of means, whatever we, when we become cognizant again, <laughs> that we are conscious agents in our own life. Um, conscious actors and we can make things happen. We can allow life to happen or we can make things happen. 
through conscious choice, um, lost my train of thought because it's too early. Um, oh yes, we have to start with what's left over from that whole growing up period when you were too young to understand or comprehend or heal the things that were happening to you, um, the family you grew up in, the, the trappings that were left over. Everybody starts from what they have left over and you look at that and you try to make the best you can from where you are. You start from where you are, but uh, we are creative species. We can conceive of, um, not just controlling what is, we can conceive of what could be. We can imagine things that do not exist and through lots of effort, education, self-motivation, a strong why, dedication, consistency over time we can figure out how to make things that don't exist exist in our life so on a day-to-day -day basis if you choose coloring waking up in the morning coloring with your kids that's magic you're making memories you made a choice we have the freedom of consciousness of choice. And how to choose what to value, what to prioritize, what to feel, what to think, how to respond, how to live our days, what to learn, uh, what to improve on, uh, how to feel about ourselves. Uh, so many things are in our control. We don't understand how to control. We just have to learn how to pull those levers. Even if you suffer, from extremes of stigma, poverty, um, hatred, uh, trauma, physical, mental, other limitations and disabilities. Um, it does not detract from your abilities. Remember your strengths and remember our superpower from choosing to color with the kids in the morning to choosing to self-educate or become of better character, to visualizing a future goal and going after it, to the awareness that you have agency and choice, to being able to calm down your stress and raise up your happiness, to being self-aware and compassionate to others, It's magic. Through thinking, imagination, consciousness, and agency, we are essentially magic. It's a superpower. Um, so one more time, because this video is long and I'm trying to do other things uh, at the same time that I'm not attending to and I need to balance my priorities and use my um, magic uh, agency to do that properly. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Every person is more or less their own magician. You are more able to move the pieces around than you realize. conceive of a life you want, conceive of a deficit or a dilemma that you want removed, and use your creative capacities, intellectual capacities, capacity to act, and make a movement, make magic. Love you guys. Good morning. Goodbye. I gotta uh, tend to my uh, adult business and 
brush my teeth. I know I'm far too honest on here, but hey, you can't smell it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm such a lady, right? All right. Peace, love, joy. I hope you actually watch this one, even though it's long, because it kind of is integral and goes back to the original point of the channel that you do have the power to make yourself happier. You are more in control than you realize. It is innate to humans. Your humanity, your consciousness allows you to adapt, grow, learn, create, choose, respond. To act in your life rather than to react on every level. Dorothy, wake up. <laughs> you are more in charge than you realize. Love you guys. Good morning. Goodbye. I'm really done now.